Hello, my name is Melanie Denham. I am a critical care nursing educator at the Fredericton Hospital. And I'm also an educator with the New Brunswick Critical Care Nursing Program. The purpose of this presentation is just to tell you a little bit about what is involved in the preceptorship portion of the New Brunswick Critical Care Nursing Program. It's about 135 hours or 12 shifts of a student with the uh, preceptor in the critical care nursing setting. Some of the goals of this presentation is to, to define what a preceptor is, to clarify the roles and responsibilities of the preceptor, preceptee, the educator, and the New Brunswick critical care nursing program as a whole, it, to establish any expectations as preceptors, and to let you know who the New Brunswick critical care nursing program support person contact list is as well. According to the Canadian Nurses Association, a preceptor is a formal one-on-one -on -one relationship of predetermined length between an experienced health professional, our preceptor, and a novice, our preceptee, designed to assist the novice in successfully adjusting to and performing a new role. Preceptor role responsibilities. So what are we looking for as a New Brunswick Critical Care Program preceptor? We want our preceptor to act as a clinical teacher, a professional role model, and a colleague. Uh, facilitate the preceptee's introduction to the organization and area. Collaborate with the preceptee to assess learning needs and to set learning goals. Consult with the preceptee to determine client care responsibilities appropriate to their preparation and provide encouragement and guidance to the preceptee. Evaluate specific learning outcomes and the overall program with the preceptee. Preceptee, what are our preceptee's responsibilities? They're responsible to participate in the program as an active learner and colleague. They consult with the preceptor in assessing learning needs and setting learning goals, clearly state when assigned client care responsibilities exceed their preparation, and evaluate specific learning outcomes and the overall program with the preceptor. Your educators. So your site educators may act as a resource person and support system for the preceptor, uh, as well as the preceptee. Promote a positive relationship between the preceptor and the preceptee. Um, facilitate the staff's role as a preceptor. Respond to any queries or concerns of the preceptor. Collaborate with the preceptor, preceptee, and or the manager as appropriate and collaborate with the preceptor and preceptee regarding the assessment of the preceptee's clinical performance when required. The critical care program as a whole, what are their responsibilities? So they provide a certificate in critical care nursing. Uh, that's a standardized program based on the standards from the Canadian Association of Critical Care Nurses, National Emergency Nurses Affiliation, and Canadian Council of Cardiovascular Nurses. So they include both theory and practice that is primarily delivered by distance education. The preceptorship of the 135 hours allows the opportunity for novice nurses to have the opportunity to apply to theory and practice in a clinical setting under the guidance of a preceptor. So what you as a preceptor should e expect? Um, you should expect to be with the preceptee of all times while providing care in a new area. This will prevent the preceptee from being placed in any situation they are unprepared to handle. Um, review, complete, sign any assessment or learning tools as they apply to the preceptee. Um, facilitate a supportive learning environment and maintain an effective working relationship with the learner. Right, right now for the critical care nursing program as of 2021 in February, uh, we have site coordinators at every hospital site where we will have our uh, critical care nursing students. So in Moncton, it's Catherine Malloy. In St. John, 
It's shared between Susan Morris and Tashina McCluskey. In Fredericton, it's myself, Melanie Didham. In Miramichi, it's Michelle Watling. In Bathurst, it's Monica Ross. Campbellton is Mario Gallant. Moncton is Manon Turcotte and Philippe Leclerc. In Edmonston is Lynn Banfield. And then for both Horizon and Vitalité, there is a teaching and learning consultant between them and the universities of UDM and uh, uni uh, UNB. So for Horizon and UNB, it's Susan Morris. And for Vitalité and UDM, it's Mylène Susie Michaud. So that's just a short list of uh, where you would go to seek some advice or guidance from your site coordinators. These are the references that we used and I hope this helps let you know what is uh, involved with the preceptorship side of the critical care nursing program.